Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna bring you exciting new product lineup from Form Charge. This is their 30 amp charger for 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I'm gonna check this charger out today, see what it's made of and how efficient it is. If you're looking for a full review on it, you found the right video. Let's get right into it. So I've actually got two chargers from Form Charge. I've got this 36 volt one for an upcoming 36 volt build. So we're not gonna go over the 36 volt lithium today. I've already reviewed their 51.2 volt charger uh, on a previous video. So I have a link in the video description for that. Today we're gonna focus on this 12 volt unit right here. The Form Charge, you know, they come in a nice box with their labels and logos on them. You can see the quality seals right there. So do not accept it if it's open, so you can, you know, tear them off or whatever, but I just prefer, you know, razor knife trick here and just cut it open. We'll check it out and see what we got going on here. So there we go, right there, right on the top right here. You can register for your warranty right there. There's the owner's manual. The charger is packed in this nice foam right here, so it arrives to you undamaged. So in the box is the 30 amp charger for 12.8 volt nominal lithium iron phosphate batteries, 4S batteries. You get two different sets of anchors and screws so you can install it however you choose because all the anchoring holes to mount it are in the corners right there. There's four holes to mount this charger. Depending on your application, you get a owner's manual as well with all the pertinent information of how to operate the charger. And like I showed you earlier, there is the tag right there. So you extend your two-year warranty to a five-year warranty right there. They make it easy for you, give you a QR code and all that. And that's the good thing about Form Charge. They are based in Minnesota, USA support engineering in Minnesota. So your warranty with this company carries a lot more weight than some of your other brands. So we'll start on the leads, the battery leads, the DC leads. We have a pure copper M8 terminal with a nice crimp connection right there very tight with a heat shrink and then you have protective caps to go on the end right there and this is a total of four feet in length for the battery side or the dc side and then the cabling appears to be 10 gauge so right there two times 5.26 millimeter squared so that would be equivalent to a 10 gauge wire right there on the dc side and another feature I love about these form chargers right here is they have a NTC sensor built onto the battery side cabling right there. So this is going through the microprocessor in here, checking for an over temperature condition, things like that. So if you have an issue with this cable, you know, lose connection or something and this cable starts getting hot, the processor in this charger will stop charging. A great safety feature to have on these form charge chargers. And then on the AC side or the wall cord side, we have a cord of eight feet in length and it is a 14 gauge. So I'll try to get you right there. So 14 gauge conductor on that, plenty sufficient to carry this little charger right here. Then on top of the charger, on the charger body itself, we have a nice cooling fan right here with a shroud over top of the fan, a guard, so you don't you know, get your fingers in there or anything in it. So that's protected with nice aluminum cooling fans all the way around to help dissipate heat we look around to the side of the charger right here, there is our indicator light that shows you what the charger is doing. And we look on the back of the charger, there's a QR code. If you need any assistance, you just hit that and it'll take you to their website for troubleshooting, things like that. And then here's the actual model of the charger right there and shows you all the specifications about the charger. And it's serialized to match serial number on the box. And this charger is IP67 rated and they also are giving this charger greater than or equal to 85% efficiency. So if we can get 85% efficiency on a 12 volt charger, that'll be pretty good. We're gonna test that out here in just a second. So I have a battery right here to connect the charger to my Repower Flow 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I chose this battery because we have a display right here when this battery's got a current sensor in it. So we can co-witness all the readings and I'm gonna put a clamp meter on here too put a energy meter on the AC wall side. So we're gonna see the efficiency and how well it charges. I got the leads connected and tightened and we'll look at the display during the test of this battery. So this battery is at 88% state of charge right now. So it won't take long to top it off because I wanna see the voltage and everything on this charger as it completes its charging sequence. All right, now I will plug in the AC wall cord into this energy meter. We'll let the charger start up and we'll get some readings. All right, initiated its charging sequence. Pulse on the battery. There we go. 
All right, the charger stabilized around, let's just say 480 watts, because it's bouncing between, you know, 479 to 482 around there. So we'll say 480 for ease of math. And then if we look on the battery right here, right at 30 amps going into the battery. So it's right on its rating, no fluff on that one. Now, some of them, they don't quite give you the full current into the battery, but that's pretty good. So the smart battery display is showing right at 30 amps at 13.6 volts. That'd be around about 408 watts going into the battery, but I'm gonna check it with a standalone instrument right here just to make sure. So I will clamp this meter on and we're gonna see what we're getting right there. So that's 31.4 amps going into the battery. So which one do you wanna go by? The built-in or this right here? We're gonna go off of this right here, 31.4. So 31.4 amps at 13.67 volts. And after the chargers ran for a few minutes, we're around four, about between 45 and 47. So let's split the difference right there, 46. So before the battery gets completely full, I'm gonna show you the startup sequence on the charger. So I'll plug it back in right here and show you what the little lights do on it and everything. See right there, get a little little red indicator light flashing. You hear the relays clicking in the charger, then you'll get the red and green flash, and then it'll commence charging. So watch the current right here, watch it climb up. See how the current comes up. All right, 18 minutes of run time, we're up to 488 watts. Let's see what the power factor is on this charger. 0 0.98, 0 0.99 power factor on the charger, which is good. So the form charge charger's been running you know, quite a bit now, and the battery is indicating 100% state of charge, which it is not. It's still only at 13.7 volts. We're still putting 30.75 amps of current into the battery. So let's get actual voltage reading. 13.75 volts. And we're up to 490 to 492 watts at right at 30 minutes of runtime. All right, the battery just hit 13.8 volts, and then the form charge right on cue dropped down one level of current. So it's only putting in 25.69 amps of current. So we're starting to enter the constant voltage phase. And just for your reference, that drop in current down to 25 amps. So this would be the complete bulk phase right here. That first tier of drop in current would be where we're at right now, the 25 amp mark. All right, just past 14.1 volts, the form charge charger started flashing the yellow light, the yellow indicator. So we're at 14.2 there and the current is starting to taper down. So you can see here, watch it drop. So it's topping off the battery right now. And for reference, we would be right here in stage four of the charge algorithm. All right, the battery just hit 14.4 volts off of the form charge charger right there. And then our currents dropped from about 12 down to about 10. So it dropped down to that point right there and it's holding steady around 10, 10 and a half. So that should put us right here. So it should be completely charged any moment now. Well, I missed the 14.6 mark. It hit 14.6, charger went to green. I'm sorry I did not catch that on camera. I was looking at the current taper down. It got down to about five amps. And at that point, before I could get the shot back over here to see the little flash of a green, it went to solid green and stopped charging. So it did go to 14.6 on this display right here and immediately stopped charging. So works just like it's supposed to. So I'll give you some efficiency numbers, what I observed during the charge of that battery off this form charge 12 volt lithium charger right here. I used the testament meter for all the DC side readings. And then the AC side readings were the energy meter I always use. So five minutes in, 430 into the battery, 480 from the wall, 89% efficient. 15 minutes in, 429 into the battery, 486 from the wall, 88.3% efficient. 30 minutes in, 426 into the battery, 490 out of the wall, 86.9% efficient. So by the 30 minute mark, that should be fully heat soaked. So that should be about the worst you see right there efficiency wise, right around 87% efficient. And they're claiming 85 or above. So it met their marketing and their specifications for this charger. 
Then as far as the charger, the way it operated, its charge algorithm, how it tapered the current and things as the voltage climbed up on the battery, worked exactly as their literature shows, as the manual shows, so I like seeing that. So I'm going to share my final thoughts on the Form Charge 30 Amp Charger. It's exactly as advertised. Everything they claim in the manual and everything they claim on their online advertising is correct and it delivers, you know, their claims. So, you know, nothing to knock it on there. Works exactly as advertised. Uh, nice long power cords on this one. A lot of manufacturers don't include such a long wall cord or a DC lead. So that's good to see. You have included accessories and you get up to a five-year warranty if you register with the company. I'll include a convenient link in the video description so you can look into this charger more if you want to. If you have any other questions or anything like that, please let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Anything I didn't cover, I will gladly answer it to the best of my abilities. And I'm not going to give you a price on the charger because prices on Amazon these days are all over the place. And if I quote you a price right now, by the time you see this video, you may be upset with me. So I'll just have that link in there for your reference. Hope you all enjoyed the video today. Let me know what you think about this little 30 amp charger from Form Charge. Do you have any experience with Form Charge yourself? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. Special thanks to Form Charge for providing a sample for today's video so I can show everybody how your battery charger works. Thank you.